Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Flavor from Board Games and Bourbon, and today we are going to review the Say by the Bell the Board Game. Isn't that very exciting? Uh, this is a game by Pressman Games. Uh, it's an exclusive to Target, and is very much a memorabilia buy for the Say by the Bell completionist. Uh, basically, what you're going to do in the game is there's a board. You are uh, taking a spinner. You're going to spin it. Doesn't it spin really well? And uh, you're going to choose if you go one, two, three, four, five, six spaces around the board. And uh, you're going to land on faces. And when you land on faces, that lets you pick up cards. You might pick up Lisa, or you might pick up Zach, or you might pick up Jesse, and so on and so forth. And you're trying to be the first person to have one card of every character in the game, or uh, a set of three of one character. Uh, now, in the game, um, <laughs> there's three kinds of cards and a few different things you can do. You can either roll and you choose how many uh, spots on the board you move. You can land on a timeout, which means you lose your turn, or you land on a view scene. <gasps> well, what do you do in this view scene? Well, in the view scene, what's going to happen is they're going to have these now. I'm not kidding about the size of this. Some cards are this big, bird size cards. Some cards are this big. Uh, unnecessarily large. But anyway, they're big scenes and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a 20 second counter, you turn it over, you show people a scene, they need to memorize it, you put it down, everyone answers a question, and uh, if they get the question right, they get a character card to get towards their goal. And that's all there is to it. You're doing that, you're trying to get three of one or one of each. Okay. Um, so the game is, the game character, the, the world of it is for parents. The game mechanics are very simple, like for little kids. So it's kind of like a Disney movie, you know. It's meant for little children, but the parents maybe can enjoy it. But uh, the graphics are great. The component quality is uh, because uh, I'm already having a lot of problems with it. Um, like for example, well, here's the character Jesse. Oh man, I would love to move my Jesse character. Let me just go ahead and, oh wait, the, the bottom falls off it. Hold on, let me just carry it by the bottom. No, nope. it falls off that way too. Okay, yeah, so the little markers that move around the board constantly fall apart. Um, the cards here are super thin, so I can't even uh, shuffle it correctly because I try to flatten it out. But earlier, when I was fleshing the cards, they were ending up with permanent bends in them. And I know how to shuffle cards. So the cards are getting bent, big deal, I guess. Um, and then uh, another problem that happens in the game is, I guess the fun uh, you know, uh, thematic part of it is where you need to see a scene card and then you need to answer a question to see if you got it right. Uh, but many times the scene cards and the questions don't match up. Like here's the scene card. Mm -hmm. And the question is, uh, was anyone else wearing the same color as Jesse? Well, Jesse's not even in the scene. So what do you do in that case? Mm, yeah, that came up a lot. Look, I'm not telling you I played this game a hundred times, okay? But enough errors turned up. Um, there's also things in the board uh, and the rules. The rules are very small. You know, they're very simple. And uh, it's literally, that's the whole rule set. And it says things like when you pick up a card, you keep it. And it doesn't, I assume what they want you to do is replace it on the board, because if you don't do that, there's nothing for people to choose from. There's a blind draw from a discard pile. Uh, you know, that, that leaves a hole in the rules, but outside of that, you get like this little thing that's kind of like a player blinder. It's called the Bayside Yearbook, and this is where you put your cards when you play. Um, everything's dropping here, because everything's like, you know, half an ounce. Um, you get a Bayside Tiger's Magnet for your refrigerator. That's kind of cool. So anyway, that's the game. It looks cool. Um, it's super light. Don't expect anything from it other than exactly what it is. Okay, it's a nostalgia game. It's a memorabilia game. If you're really into having the memorabilia and you want a magnet and a, uh, a bunch of pictures and um, the yearbook thing, hey man, have at it and enjoy. That's the game. Talk to you later, man. Bye.